Greetings, everybody. Get your King James Bible and turn it to the book of Isaiah. This is going to be chapter 25 of the series on Isaiah, the commentary. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Isaiah 25 and verse 1. O Lord, thou art my God. I will exalt thee. I will praise thy name. For thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsels of old are faithfulness and true. For thou hast made of a city and heap, of a defensed city, a ruin, a palace of strangers to be, no city. It shall never be built. Therefore shall the strong people glorify thee, the city of the terrible nations shall fear thee. Uh, this city that would uh, never be built, I am guessing that that would be a reference to Babylon. God said that Babylon would never be rebuilt. Let's see. Therefore shall the strong people glorify thee, the city of the terrible nation shall fear thee. For thou hast been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shadow from the heat, when the blast of the terrible ones is as a storm against the wall. Thou shalt bring down the noise of strangers as the heat in a dry place, even the heat with the shadow of a cloud, the branch of the terrible ones shall be brought low. And in this mountain shall the Lord of hosts make unto all people a feast of fat things, a feast of wines on the lees, of fat things full of marrow, of wines, wines on the lees, well refined. Now that word lees, L-E-E-S, uh, that we just read about of wines on the lees, well refined, uh, that is the sediment, the worst part of the wine that settles like on the bottom. So that's the stuff you really, it's the worst part of the wine, the stuff you don't really want to drink. I had to look that up. I didn't even know what it was. Verse 7. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death in victory. Keep that in mind, people. He will swallow up death in victory and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all, from off all faces. Keep that in mind, too. Swallowing up death and victory and wiping away tears. And the rebuke of his people shall he take away from, from off all the earth, for the Lord hath spoken it. Now that's future, people. That's future. We're going to go back to verse 8. And it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. Praise the Lord for that, right? This is the Lord. We have waited for him, and we will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. For in this mountain shall the hand of the Lord rest, and Moab shall be trodden down under him, even a straw is trodden down for the dunghill. And he shall spread forth his hands in the midst of them, as he that swimmeth spreadeth forth his hands to swim, and he shall bring down their pride together with the spoils of their hands. And the fortress of the high fort of thy walls shall he bring down, lay low, and bring to the ground, even to the dust. All right, so where do we talk about swallowing up death and victory? Well, Paul wrote about that in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And verse 52, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump, 
For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. What's it talking about here? The resurrection, the new bodies. Verse 53, for this corruption, I'm sorry, for this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy saint straight? Where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? All right, so back to Isaiah 25, verse 8. He will swallow up death in victory. You see, people, uh, when, you're, when you're going to be immortal in a resurrected body that will never age, death is swallowed up in the victory of Christ and what he did on the cross. And the Lord God will wipe away tears from all the faces, and the rebuke of his people shall be taken away from off all the earth, for the Lord hath spoken it. Now, where do we read about tears? How about Revelation 7, verse 17? For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them, and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Revelation 21 and verse 4, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God, slain from the foundation of the world. In Jesus' precious name, amen.